This glyph on the floor here is like obviously like the clue. It's like the marker glyph pointing to the way into the cave just over there. So whoever did this wanted to leave clues along a trail to get in to see the hieroglyphs. So we're just making our way back into the, the chasm that has the hieroglyphs. I've just come from down there. And now I'm heading up there. So let's take, a, let's take another look, another closer look at these hieroglyphs. Yeah, here we are. This is the main wall of the hieroglyphs. You can just sort of see behind me. see this one here this really looks like it's been uh, quite heavily cut out of the rock here it's quite a bit of work and I, I, I got sort of question why would they make these hieroglyphs so big some of them are quite big they're like a couple of feet tall so it just kind of suggests there's something going on here there's lots of underground tunnels here which Stephen Evan Strong pointed out as well um, but they're kind of you can imagine they'd be natural there's lots of flat cut rock which just looks I think is natural this kind of sandstone does that so it would make kind of natural tunnels this even looks a bit like a natural tunnel but these are fascinating these hieroglyphs they look absolutely fascinating I'm not I have studied hieroglyphs for a couple of years with master I'm going to see Salim. So I think actually I might send some images of this to Master Salim because he is actually one of the top people on hieroglyphs in the country at the moment. And so he would probably be able to give an exact um, era to where these came from, whether they're old kingdom, whether they're more modern, or they're a mixture of different ones, or even if they're fakes, we, we should be able to find out. So I'm going to make a little effort and get these over to him because some of them do look a bit rough. Some of them do look a bit kind of almost childlike, a bit of graffiti, but some look like they're proper hieroglyphs. So you can see some classic Egyptian hieroglyphs here uh, on the wall here at, near Gosford. You see the square uh, and it's got what looks like a hand, a foot, a like, hooked staff and some kind of, um, you know, jug or something like this. And there's several other ones all down here, um, different representations of different things. There's one here that even looks a bit like a long skull. 
um, it's almost got a representation of an elongated skull. So there's a lot going on here. Um, just down here, you've actually got a, a picture of Thoth uh, as well, um, holding like an ank. So there's a lot going on. There's like a swan or a bird here, another hook, another hook, uh, various geometries here as well. And these, you know, these look pretty well preserved. Although some people do say they're modern. Um, I'm quite, I'm quite intrigued by these actually, um, whatever anyone says, just because, you know, there's someone who came forth and wrote a sworn statement to Stephen Strong and, and Evan Strong that they had seen them when they were a child back in the 1950s because they're supposed to have been done in the 70s. So if they were seen in the 50s, then there's something else obviously going on here. They must have been done a bit earlier than that, or a lot earlier, thousands of years possibly earlier. So these are just some excellent examples of what we're looking at here at the Gosford hieroglyphs. Here, this is the uh, the Thoth figure I was just showing you. It's got the ears here, the main head here, and the body going down here. And it's holding some kind of ank in its hand, sort of like this. Um, so this is like a classic expression of Thoth or Tahuti or different names uh, for him later, Hermes in the Greek um, in the Greek stories. So, and here we have a classic sun disc with rays coming out from below so this is i find this all very interesting this looks like these are like kind of this whole area here up the up the top end of the hieroglyphs really looks like it's the more kingly area where they were doing the um the carving of the kings really so uh but this is it's quite impressive bit of carving let's just hope it is ancient it could be modern um but certainly worth taking a look if you're in this part of australia So we made our second visit to the Gosford hieroglyphs behind us here. Uh, it's a much sunnier morning. Uh, we can see some of the glyphs a little better. And there were some really unusual caves just near here. We've just been getting some shots of them. Uh, but some of them look much older hieroglyphs. They've been carved a long time ago and lichen is now growing in them. Others clearly look like they're rel relatively recently cut in. So it's, it's unfortunate because obviously they're being added to um, as time goes by, which is very confusing if you're trying to decode and research uh, the, the real ones um, against the fake ones, really. So, yeah, more research to be done. Uh, let's get these over to someone who can read the glyphs um, and see what we come up with. Anyway, we've got to get back now to Sydney to get home to England. So we'll see you on the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. 